Hey everyone, we've got a really quick video based on fuel economy, it should only take a few minutes and if it goes for long it's probably got other interesting info so don't give up on me yet. Subscribe, turn the bell on. Now's the time for all the regulars to smash the like button. Okay, if you've been following the fuel economy, we've made a change and now the fuel economy might change. I'm just going to show you what it is on the trip computer which is really accurate and um, then we're just going to have a quick look at this scan gauge over here and you might be able to see what the change is, right? The smart people that watch the videos know what I'm talking about, okay? So there's gonna be more cold filtered air and none of that dirty stuff on the 1G DFTV. A uh, bit of testing, we've done 60,000 Ks standard. Now let's see what happens with the fuel economy, the power, the responsiveness. I've just driven uh, about 100 km, a bit over 100 Ks. To me, it feels the same. But anyway, um, obviously when you put the foot down, that thing closes up and you've got cold clean filtered air anyway. But just doing a bit of comparison testing and we might switch it back. So let's just quickly have a look. On this trip, 10.9. This is the channel. This is the Prado information that's real. It's not me saying, oh, this is the best economy. This is the worst economy. This is what you get. You can see it for yourself. Outside air, only 19 degrees. Nice day for driving in. Average speed, 83 k's. Driven from Bendigo area to Greendale area. Okay, to give you an idea. Country roads, 100 k zones, 80 k zones, this sort of thing. Okay, hour and 15 minutes driving, as you can see. 10.9 litres, 100 k's. Let's have a look what it is. On the after reset screen, 10.8 with an average of 64 k's, 49 hours. If you want to join up the pieces of the puzzle, you go and have a look at the automatic, not the automatic transition playlist. What do you look at? The fuel economy playlist, of course, the fuel economy. And you'll be able to see the last one where we reset this. See that reset? I'm about to reset it. Bang, it's reset. Now, 10.8 before. Now, if we don't change anything and we keep driving the same for the next few months, the next 50 hours, we should have a reasonably fair comparison because nothing's going to change. But anyway, let's just see in case there's a big change, but I wouldn't expect much. Okay, after refuel, 10.6. So it's all pretty consistent. You see, since I refueled, 10.6. Since the reset, what was it? 10.8, I've forgotten already. And this drive, 10.9. So obviously this drive was less economical than the average overall. So as I've said, the 60K zones... The 80k zones, those slower speeds, work much better for fuel economy on the 1GD FTV because it's a smaller engine. The faster you go, the harder it has to work to maintain the speed, pushing that brick through the wind. And it is a brick compared to a normal sedan. Um, it is a big square type vehicle, large wind resistance. The smaller the engine, the only way it can make power or torque to be able to combat that wind resistance, the power that's needed, is to throw in more fuel. There's no replacement for cubic displacement. Watch the videos and you'll start to understand, okay? So, did you catch that? See, coolant temp, not bad. Trans temp, not bad. Battery, speed zero. EGR, zero. Wink, wink. Um, EGT's cooled down because I've been idling for a few minutes now, so you're going to see some nice low EGT's. We'll just give it a quick rev. Yeah, there you go, right? So nice, cold, clean air. Bit of a change, something different. Just a quick video to let you know that's where things are at. We're just trialing things. Off-road use. Anyway, um, there's your after start. There's your reset. There's your after refuel. Take note of the after refuel. I'll take note next time I refuel if it goes higher or lower because it's generally about that. It's pretty consistent. Anyway, I told you to be a quick one. Bit of yak, yak, yak. Catch you on the next video. Don't forget, subscribe, turn the bell on and hit that like button. Catch you on the next one. See ya.